So guys, UFC Fight Night Austin, Armin Sarukian versus Benio Darius just took place, and I am just awestruck. I can't believe it. I did not see it going like that at all. I believe a lot of the narrative going into this fight was that it was going to be a grappler's joy fest. Because we have the grappling of Armin, he was going head to head with Islam and Gamera, which is very impressive, especially because he's so young. And then we have Benio Darius, you know, he's a very grappling heavy guy. But when it started, like, none of them shot for a takedown at all, which surprised me tremendously. The only thing that they did was trade blows, fill each other out, and the fight didn't last not that much. So yeah, I just seen this live, and I think the play-by-play -play thing I can say about it is that Armin threw some type of hook, but I don't know if his attention was to actually hurt him or just to grab the back of Benio's head, but he did that, he kind of clinched the back of his head and threw a knee down the middle. But Benio kind of like evaded it by like picking his head back and that's when Armin just sniped him with the right hand and that's just what put Benio to sleep and then Armin followed with a thum 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 and oh my god that was like insane this whole fight card has been insane I don't typically cover fight cards because I'm more of a pay-per-view guy but I doesn't mean I don't watch them I still like watching them they're very intriguing but this one was insane and like right before like this we had uh, Jalen Turner versus Bobby Green and oh my god I swear I thought I saw Bobby Green die right in front of me Jalen Turner hit him with like basically the same thing that Tom Aspinall hit Sergey Pavlovich with a uh, double one two and uh, yeah he bro was slipped and then the referee was just looking at him like hmm that was not good enough and then he was just boom 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 until eventually I feel bad for Bobby Green I think he has lost like three years of his life right there but back to Armin Sarukian, yeah, this this kid is, he's the real deal. I think he poses the best threat to Islam Makachev. You already seen in his first fight, while maybe he didn't win the majority of the grappling exchanges, the important thing to note is that he didn't get dominated. Um, he can hold in there with him. And now that we've seen him kind of perfect his striking, and he, like I said, he's still very young, 27, I believe. Um, it's been five years since they fought, and they've both been growing as of his but yeah i think armin has the biggest possible threat to islam's throne and i'm kind of very very in interested to see in this fight um even more than like gaichi and Oliveira a little bit but not too much because those are my dogs but yeah that's just insane if they fight i definitely think it's going to be a different fight and i for sure can't wait to see it this just kind of messes everything up at lightweight because what we have charles Oliveira waiting to take his shot gaichi waiting to take his shot and I honestly, like, let's say in a world where there was no title contenders and we were waiting to see who was going to be the next one. I think with this performance that Armin had tonight, that would catapult him. This is like an Ilya Tapori versus Josh Emmett type of performance where he just destroyed the other guy and he just is most fitting. But yeah, I think just Oliveira pulling out from October ruined everything. Like I said in the video, like, well, like a couple months ago, he just makes everything back. Like, yeah, it was sad to see Volk get knocked out, but at least like... If it was someone else, it would have kept the division moving. And now it's going to stagnate a little bit. Because obviously, Islam is talking about wanting to move up to 170. And if he does that, that's going to stagnate even more. Ultimately, how I see it playing out is that... I, obviously, Dana White has said that we're going to get the Charles versus Islam rematch. Probably, I want to say either March or um, the summertime. We'll see what happens. But after that... I think because of Dana White privilege, Islam Makachev is going to go up in weight and fight uh, for the 170 belt. And where does that leave the lightweight division? I think we're going to have an interim title belt uh, fight between Armin and Justin, maybe. Because obviously we can't keep the division stagnant, and that's what typically happens when uh, a champion moves up and we need to keep the division moving. It's kind of unfortunate because now we're not going to see both of them get their rightful shot and i think justin gaichi will like probably feel really disrespected by it because like one he he has already fought for an interim belt he doesn't want to fight for another one um and then armin will probably take it because it's money so yeah i just want to record this video to to say my thoughts after this amazing fight night um amazing performance by armin gotta applaud him for that and yeah this is just gonna be a short video if you guys what do you guys think about the event comment down below thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one Peace.